Welcome everybody, I am J. Hart Ellis, and today we have a special tour. We're touring tons and tons of pumpkins. So a pumpkin decoration contest. So we are going to see what people can do with a housing editor in The Elder Scrolls Online to decorate pumpkins. And the pumpkins in the game are really small, so this is going to be about those small details. Facial features and whatever else might go into decorating a pumpkin. So we have four entries on PC and or on PCEU, and then we have 23 entries on PC and A, and we're going to start here on PCEU. Going to go to Hachiko Chan's Fleming Nix Deluxe Garrett and see what they were able to decorate their pumpkin as. So I really have no clue what, what to expect. Now we will have winners for this. We'll have three goofy winners, and we'll have three more serious winners, and then. We'll tour all these, and we'll kind of weigh them based off the screenshots that we get as we go through, and we'll get screenshots up and have fun with that. It'll be, it might be a challenge to pick winners out of these. So, Odd the Viking with the follow. Welcome to our pumpkin decorating thank you, thank you, thank you. contest tour, and with this subscription as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. That helps a ton. Okay. Big hype, big hype. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, hey, we're starting. Fleming Nix is going to be an amazing pumpkin. There's a dragon hold update tomorrow. I hope that the server stability is good today. <laughs> okay. Hachiko chat. Oh, oh, that's cute. <laughs> I. We have an angry pumpkin. I think, I think I see this. It is a warrior pumpkin. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's a, oh, there are two pumpkins. It's more of a scene. We said that you could you could do like more than one pumpkin if it like belonged to a scene if they seem to be interrelated. So we have we have the pumpkin. Now it looks like the pumpkin is trying to maybe slay the dragon. The dragon is maybe holding this princess hostage. Maybe. Look, he's full of righteous fury. He's going to slay this dragon. Free their love. <laughs> Okay, so this is really cute. It's really cute. So it's really adding those details. I love the furrowed brows here. Wow, those are using those really rare elsewhere brushes too. They don't really look anything special, but they're super hard to find. <laughs> um, you can steal them from elsewhere. Okay, um, and the glass bottles for the eyes. Really glassy eyes. Really add to that. And the, the helmet using a pot. So good details. I mean, it's really just adding five little furnishings to this with the, with the two eyes, the two eyebrows, and the, the cauldron. But look, it looks so, it looks so fierce. It's gonna go slay this dragon, free this princess. And then let's look at this princess. Look at this princess. Oh, hide, hiding behind the fan. Maybe a little bit embarrassed, but at the same time, probably a little pleased that this, this suitor, the brave knight, is going to try to rescue them. So, it's a shy princess. I love the fan there. <laughs> it's like you don't even you don't even need to have the nose or the mouth on the pumpkin with this. Just look shy, hiding behind there. And then the braids making the the beautiful the beautiful braided bread making making that lovely blonde braid. <laughs> braided bread. Beautiful blonde braids. Lovely, lovely. Okay. And then, let's see, we have kind of a crown there. I believe that's a monster bust that's being used back there. I'm trying to get a good view of it by jumping. Okay, well, let's let's get some screenshots and we'll keep moving along. That's really fun. I like I like the big eyes. Breadlocks are cl clever. I know, I know. <laughs> Princess Butternut. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody in Twitch chat, by the way. Thank you so much. I'll try, I'll try to keep on top of that too. I'm just trying to take the details. I love, I love this knight. I don't know if I can really take the dragon into it too. Oh, maybe from there. Okay. Try to get the dragon mid flap. I'll get a couple screenshots. Okay. Lovely, lovely. And we'll keep moving along. Thank you, Hachiko-chan. I love the scene here. They're really kind of dressing this all up too. Uh, good good uh, foliage everywhere. Really creative. Really fun. Good way to start over here on PCEU with our pumpkin decorating contest. Chico chan oh, you're here, thank you. I say thank you, Jay Hart. Thank you, thank you so much for the great pumpkins. 
cute story. Oh, the love story. What a bravery. Hopefully. Okay, I will continue along. We are going to add an art. Stay Moist Mansion up next. Okay, okay. Love and an arc. I hear a frog collar. I wonder if that's going to be part of the build. Now, I think they said it was at the end of the house on a barrel. I've actually been through here before. Part of our Falling for Fall contest that we did a couple weeks back. I'm looking for a barrel with a pumpkin on it. Pumpkin! I find the pumpkin. Oh, it's cr super creepy. Um, it's like a super, super possessed pumpkin. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's like a three skulled pumpkin. It's kind of really f frightening. Especially with, especially with that, what, is a spectral skeever of some sort? I think it's a spectral skeever. Kind of that rat face. It's kind of frightening. I can kind of imagine each of these skulls maybe having like their personalities, each distinctive, but unified in maybe wanting to take my soul. It's a pumpkin that bites back. And then we have we have other we have a really bright light effect. Kind of just right there in the forehead. I'm kind of trying to figure out what that light is. There's a little blue flame in there too. Or maybe it's just the way the light is bouncing off of that auger of the obscure in the center. It's really creepy. Kind of framing it with that bear skull as well. So fitting in here. Nearly has like a fortune teller type of a vibe to it. I, I, this seems kind of like, like I could maybe see into the future a little bit. Tell you your misfortune. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> I think that's what would happen. Could be a Daedric candle. Could be that. It could just be that the light is just reflecting off of the skull there. Okay, okay. Really creepy build. Creepy build. A couple of embedded skulls. They're trapped in the pumpkin. Maybe, maybe my skull will join them soon. With the horns, of course. <laughs> Pumpkin ate their souls. Okay, thank you, Ananark. By the way, love Ananark's build style. Just like, look at this. Look at this place. Okay, I'll continue along. Thank you, Ananark. Before I get my soul sucked away anymore. Okay, I go to Sari's. Moonmirth up next as we continue with our pumpkin decorating contest. Saris has a moon mirth. I don't have any backstory on this. I'll be curious. Saris has won a lot of our contests in the past. So, I'm I'm curious. Yeah, we do a, we do a lot of contests here on the Twitch channel, so be sure to keep up to date with us here. Okay, we have <laughs> we have Saris has a <laughs> I I recognize this build. It is a gymnasium from our schoolroom contest. Okay, we have we have Pumpkin making them gains, getting strong. <laughs> I love the determined, the determined screaming mouth here with a big O. Oh, that's, that's amazing, the details on this. So what are the details here? Kind of like, like the apple making those bright red cheeks. They're putting in a lot of effort into this, right? They're, they're huffing. They're out of breath. They're, they're, they're getting strong here. They're trying to impress, impress somebody. <laughs> Have our squatter back there. They're pump, pump, pumpkin iron. Pump and iron. Pumpkin iron. I love it. Sorry. He's <laughs> Let's see. Now, as far as this contest was concerned, I hope I made this clear on the forums. Anything from the shoulders down was not going to count for the contest. It was supposed to be about the pumpkin head. So, adding the legs here is technically not going to count as far as judging is concerned. But, I may not have made that super clear every time that we talked about this. But anyway, 
just based off of the, the head and everything, I think this is a good contender for the goofy goofiness zone. <laughs> okay, so really expressive face. And look what you can do. You can just use a couple of details. Like, again, it's about the eyebrows and express expressing through the eyes. Really good details, right? And then kind of adding adding other things here. One thing I really like about this is like, the, the the bench press here <laughs> you just have this little fishing rod it, it kind of indicates this isn't very heavy <laughs> it's, it's really funny it is really funny Sutfa says from the forearm the head is all that will count for the contest anything below the neck will be pretended away for prizes yeah so I just have to pretend like that's that's it that's it that's the entry okay thank you <laughs> I'm not crazy he has a little water bottle and towels. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, he does. He does. He has um, a little pick-me-up for after the workout. No, water. Staying hydrated during a workout. Very important. And towels. Working up a sweat here. No, pumpkins. They get really sweaty. <laughs> oh, he isn't ha even has a little cap. Wait, wait, wait. I want to look at the details on this cap. This is amazing. So, it's a... It's, what, the Hallelu... No, Drez. This is a Drez rice bowl. Oh, yeah. There's, like, a lot of details I missed. Okay, so the, the bowl here has been turned upside down, and then adding that fan for the brim of the cap here, the elsewhere fan. You can get those off of Guild Traders. They're, they're a rare, stealable item, but you can, you can get them for reasonable prices on the Guild Traders. And then adding banana hair. Banana hair. Banana hair. Yes, banana hair. <laughs> I thought they were just ears. I kind of thought they were just ears from this side too, but no, no, it's a whole, it's a whole glorious head of banana hair. Works really well with the, with the textures of the bananas kind of ro rolling down there. Sorry, it says pickpocket nobles for the fan. Ah, ah, that's what you can do. And elsewhere, right, so I can in, in room in. Okay, very expressive. Huffing, huffing, getting strong. Lovely. <laughs> I miss your I miss your gym build here with all the dodgeball going on and the scoreboard over here. Oh well, oh well. Repurposing this room. That's the thing. A lot of these builds end up being very impermanent, so that's why I like to get screenshots as I go and put them up on my website. Okay, so we'll keep going. Thank you, sorry. It's really fun, really fun. Okay, button masher for the win with a follow. Thank you. Welcome to our pumpkin. Decorating contest tour. This is amazing. Okay, we're going to Sturmfinger's up next. Sturmfinger had a little bit of a backstory, so we'll we'll get into here and then we'll dive into that. Okay, so Stur Sturmfinger. <laughs> it's a story of Prince Pum. Prince Pum. <laughs> there will be multiple pumpkins in this. I am assured. Okay, this will be our last house on PCEU, and then we'll swap over to PCNA. <laughs> I see, I see. Prince Pum has an audience. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is adorable. Okay. As far as the rules are concerned, I don't know if all the audience can really count for this. But, okay, here, here we go. Um, okay, so we have, we have a... Backstory. Oh, they're trying to cannon themselves out of this place? Okay, what's the backstory? The backstory is the pumpkin people will find a way to escape these confines that bind our people. This year, daring Prince Pum tries an aerial approach. We, his proud royal parents, Lord and Lady Pumpkin, and crowd have come to cheer. So we have Lord and Lady Pumpkin. Are they here? Is, are these Lord and Lady? Wait, where are Lord and Lady Pumpkin? They must. Oh, they must be. These must be Lord and Lady Pumpkin. Here, the, the two that are a bit more elaborate, <laughs> and they are wishing on their Prince Pum, who is trying to escape this place. So apparently, the pumpkins are confined here. They're confined here, using the frog collar to launch. Launch out. So it's kind of like a chicken, chick, chicken run <laughs> build. That's too funny. Okay, so getting launched out of the frog collar. Look how happy he is. So optimistic. 
you know it's just gonna get smashed to bits. Okay, so... Okay, one thing, um... <laughs> Prince Bomb only has seconds to live before he smashes into the wall. <laughs> okay, so a crowd, crowd cheering kind of a scene. Okay, well, let's get, let's get a good, good picture of Prince Pum here. He looks so happy. Just the, the, embedding the little small items into here and kind of angling them in so you can get kind of an expression for like a smile or, you know, angling in the candles here. Very big, round, hopeful eyes with those candles and then has a little, little makeshift feathers on the side here too. Okay, so we have this palm with, with the crowd. Well, I'll just get everything in here. Okay. <laughs> now, let's actually look at the details on, on Prince Pum's parents. Royal parents, Lord and Lady Pumpkin. We have... Okay, Lady Pumpkin also is, is kind of rocking a smile here. She seems to be optimistic. Or, maybe she really never liked Prince Pum and is just kind of like smiling, smirking a little bit because she knows what's going to happen. This will, this, this will solidify her position of power as Prince Pum smashes against everything and the people stay confined here. She's in a position of power over confined people. She wants to keep them that way. I think so. And then, and then Lord Pumpkin here just kind of seems like he doesn't care. Kind of, kind of ambivalent here. <laughs> and then all the cheering folk, hoping for liberation. We even have a mud crab pumpkin wearing that Breton hat. We even have <laughs> we have a French pumpkin. I, b I believe with the with the with the mustache here, using that Daedric key and the lava burst toadstool on top, it looks like a beret. It does look like a beret and a mustache. A little bit French. A little bit French. Yes, with the beret. So lots of little hat details here. This one kind of looks like a monk. Well, I hope that they get their freedom someday. <laughs> Maybe I'm reading into things a little too much. Okay, so... Poor Prince Pum. Going to meet an ill fate. The crab pumpkin is cute. It kind of looks like maybe the... Maybe the village idiot. I don't know. The hat's a little askew. Maybe that's just how this goes, though. So this is using those pumpkin patches. And then kind of adding some personality to each of them using the ivory, the polished ivory for the eyes. And then I don't really know what is being used for the pupils. Little, little screws of some sort. I'm not so sure. Tops of bottles? I don't, I'm not really sure what the little brown parts of the eyes are. Hard to tell. Clockwork crank? Could be something like that. <laughs> and I'll try to figure that out. Okay, little details. Little skullboom legs sticking up. Wait, 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 where are the skullboom legs? Oh, oh no, I missed them. I missed them. Oh, over here, over here. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Okay, we'll move along. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Handle of a dread saucepan. Oh, there's Dirtfinger. Gluing us in. It's a handle of a pan. And the ends of Witch's Festival skeleton hands. Okay, okay. So using those small details, kind of going with like those concentric circle type of looks for the eyes. Okay, we're going to swap over to PCNA. We have 23 homes on PCNA. 23 pumpkins or more. Okay, it will continue along. Okay, so four homes for PCEU are nice and toured, and then we'll go and look at the other 23 from PCNA. These are fun, these are fun so far. I'm excited to see what PCNA has to offer. 
Yeah, a lot of this comes down to those small details. So this contest was a, a challenge in the sense that it's taking an already small object and then saying, hey, you have to embed items within this. So they're going to be even smaller. So it's really making use of the the overlapping aspect of the housing editor and kind of how you can layer items together. You can really do a lot with housing editor. Versatile tool. You can get get the creative juices flowing with it. That's what this contest is all about. Lil Fox says, so excited. First Witches Festival, I'll be home to do the event. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, <laughs> this was my little pumpkin. And this is my little NPC merchant going in. <laughs> For next week, we'll do an NPC costume contest. Let's see, get rid of that. Okay, this is my little pumpkin. It's not entered into the contest. It was just, just for show. Okay, <laughs> we'll keep moving along here. We're going to go to Denuvial's Hall of the Lunar Champion up next. Kaleo made a bunch of pumpkins. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay. It's more fun. Okay, Denuvial has a poem. Denuvio has a poem. Little poem. Oh, that's, that's a frightening pumpkin. I see, okay. Can I read the poem and then reveal it? Or let's look at this and then read the poem. We'll do that. Okay. Denuvio setting the scene here. Oh, is this it? That's... is that it? <laughs> this used to be embedded in the wall, because I had come and looked at this before. Okay, um... okay, here we go. We have a pumpkin. A pumpkin girl. A pumpkin girl. Okay, now here's... Here's the backstory. There's a little poem. A little poem. One sec. One sec. Take this in. Take in the details. Loving the, the nice flowing hair. Sticking on end. Sticking on end is very vertical hair. Okay, so we have a poem. A poem by Denuvial. Pumpkin girl is terrified. She knows that she should run and hide. Or should she stay and face her fear? She must decide. It's very near. Frightening. Frightening. <laughs> so... The interesting thing about that poem is, given the context of this, she is planted here. She is kind of one with the tree. She cannot really run and hide, even if she wanted to. But the fear is still there. So, she has the frightened hair going on, the spooky, on end hair. That's really fun. <laughs> Maybe he says you want to pull her nose off. <laughs> the very pointy nose. I like that. And then we do have the banana hair. Banana hair. It seems like... Banana hair was a nice convergent thinking here. <laughs> let me let me get a good screenshot of the terrified pumpkin girl. That's fun. That's fun. And then we have flowers and the fans. Kind of kind of like a pumpkin princess here. What is the nose? That is the. That's the. That's an achievement furnishing from Vivek City, right? From Farmville. Yeah, I think so. And then we have an apple for the mouth. The apple has a little indent on the end of it, so it kind of ends up being like big big lips that are kind of like in a shocked kind of fashion. So that works pretty well. The snake eyes from the die well from the dice embedded in the in the pumpkin. They look kind of shocked. They're very centered. And then going with the kind of the eyebrows as well, kind of adding to the terrified look here. And blessing stone. This is blessing stone nose. Okay, so a lot of details adding to this. Terrified pumpkin girl. I like the details. I, I like the like the eyebrows and all that. And the mouth. That's actually a really clever use of the apple. Kind of making a lot of use out of one furnishing with that. <laughs> Bless these ladies' nose. <laughs> Oh, no, I know. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, Denuvio. Love the poem. Thank you for that, too. Okay, and we'll continue along. We'll go to Needle Roosers. Thank you, Denuvio. Okay, Needle Rooser. 
I had a little bit of a story on this. I don't know if I should share it. They said originally they made this and it looked like Cher. And they said it was not intended to look like Cher. <laughs> but then they said they made changes afterwards so it doesn't look that way anymore. <laughs> so I won't see that. But maybe, maybe there'll be a hint. We'll see if there's a hint. That doesn't look like Cher. Maybe it looks like Cher. Okay, so we have an alien S. Pumpkin. I don't know. It looks like a. Well, let's see. Let's get the context here. With the tent and the pumpkins on the table, it nearly just looks like a merchant. But maybe, maybe there's more going on here. What would you be your interpretation of this? So it's using the bread morsel. Interesting thing with the bread morsel is it kind of has like this darker line in the middle of it. So they, they kind of look like lips as well. Venture Skull says a pumpkin merchant selling her children. I, I think it very well might be something like that. Oh, Denuvial says I'll meet Pumpkin Girl's nemesis next week during the NPC costume contest. Oh, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> okay, cool, Pumpkin World. It's a pumpkin eat pumpkin world. Could be, could be. Could be a stage with backup dancers. Maybe that's what it is. This is the star you know, kind of elaborate, drawing attention to the star in the middle, and maybe these are just like the backup dancers, you know, they're moving in sync. It could be, it could be pumpkin dancers. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Uh, okay, we're good, we're good. So we have, I love the hat, rocking the hat, with a nice brim on it kebabs embedded on the top. Maybe, well, they could have just added flowers if they were going with a floral type of a look. So maybe, maybe those are supposed to be more like alien antennae. They said it was a little alien. So it might just be, it might just supposed to be weird. Maybe it's just supposed to be weird. Look at the back. I don't know if there's going to be anything on the back. I think it's mostly intended to be looked at from the front. Let's have the kelp. The kelp as a back backdrop. I mean, the kelp back there does just kind of give some color contrast so that you can see it all a little bit better. It's an interesting build. Again, using those apples, they have the little indent as well, and so they make pretty expressive eyes. So. Again, good use, good use of the small details for the face. Okay. Fun build, fun build. Okay, we'll keep moving along. Could be that maybe all these pumpkins are kind of like eggs, and this one is being born out of the pumpkin. I think there's a lot for interpretation there. <laughs> fun, fun. Okay, we'll keep moving along. We'll go to Everelia's Rosy Lion up next. She called this the Pumpkin Vampire. We'll see, we'll see. How would you make a vampire looking pumpkin? I think we'd have to have things. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Oh, she went with like this tiniest little pumpkin too. There are several pumpkins. There's like a sugar pumpkin. There's a display pumpkin. There's a winter squash. And then there are a couple of the ones from the, the crown, crown store or the furnishing bundles that have come out. This one's like the little sugar, sugar pumpkin. It's so tiny. Okay, so it does have the fangs and it has these, these nice like bat wing ears. So it feels like a good vampire feel to it. That would be using the the peri periite statuette for the the bat wings there, I think. Okay, cute cute pumpkin. Oh, with the for for the size of the pumpkin, it has those really thick eyebrows too. So those those are right here. <laughs> I love it, and and uh, yes, kind of has a caped look on the back too. 
I wish I could lower my camera a little bit, though. I can't really get on its level, so I have to look down on it. It's so tiny. It's so cute. And fright I mean, it's fierce. It's frightening. Scary vampire. Wants to suck my blood. Crouch? Does crouching help? Oh, crouching helps. Okay, good. Okay, that's a little better. It has a big pointy nose there. <laughs> that works really well. Okay, thank you, thank you. Crouching does help. It looks angry. It looks... Trying to remember. It reminds me of... The old plump uncle from the Munsters. I don't remember if he was a uh, uncle or the father figure. It looks more concerned. Concerned about family matters more than anything else. I don't know if that's what you're going for. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. It's a concerned vampire father figure. <laughs> okay. We'll keep going along here. Okay, Altered Muse up next. Thank you, Everly. That was really good details. It's impressive what you were able to do with that. Okay, continuing along, we'll go to Altered Muse's Strident Springs. See, we'll be in the front entry. Okay, looking at more pumpkins. That other thing says he's got a family to feed and his blood bank account is low. Love ya. <laughs> Ever early, it says this was so fun really early. Thank you so much for entering. Yeah, if you're ever on the fence about entering these contests, just go ahead and do it. Have some fun with it. I'll probably end up liking it a lot more than you think I will. <laughs> Caleo had fun too? Oh, great, great. Okay, continuing along. I haven't had big problems with load screens yet. Let's keep it that way. They said it was in the front entrance. I'm assuming this is it. It's a, oh, it's a creepy pumpkin. It reminds me a lot of like, ah, real monsters. Kind of mixing a couple of elements from those monster feels to it. So I don't know if, if that's what they're going for, but it's what it reminds me of. Definitely a monstrous pumpkin with those big glow stock eyes. The growthy horns coming out of the middle. Kind of spider, spider-like legs and the big, big lips. Okay. Uh, let's get a screenshot of that. Lovely. Let's see <laughs> Chris says it's is adorable. That, that, that's kind of the look of that. Is they, they, they always felt... That's why I mentioned that. Is they always felt really... A, they, they felt like cute monsters. They didn't feel like things that would like frighten you or eat you or like do, do bad things. They, they have kind of cute... Sympathetic traits to them. This has very sympathetic traits. Maybe it's the big eyes and... And everything like that. But I don't even know if that's what they're going for. Anyway, Cyclops. No, it's not Cyclops. It's a nose. <laughs> has, has the eyes on the glow stalks. Okay. It's a Biclops. That's what it is. Okay. We're good. We're good. Just a monster. It's just a monster. Altered me. Okay, no inspiration. Just a monster. See, similar styles. As a monster or a monster with the legs. That's a good way of doing that. With the horns for the legs. Kind of imagining it, it skittling along, but very clunkily. Not very practical legs. It makes it feel a little bit less intimidating. Okay. Very good details on this pumpkin. Pumpkin monster. I love the eyes. What were the eyes? Are they potatoes? They're some Varnfeld glow stocks with potatoes. Very vulnerable. Pa 
ba, 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 ba. Okay, okay, we'll continue along. Okay, we'll go to Lil Fox's Humble Mud up next. Thank you, Altered Muse. Really fun. I, I just was loving taking in the details of that. Altered Muse says, thanks for visiting. I'm still learning the decorating thing. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay. Lil Fox's Humble Mud will be in the first part of the room. Okay. Lil Fox says, warning, it's not for weak stomachs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it a spicy pumpkin? Lil Fox says your roommate can't look at it. Uh oh. Should I be scared? <laughs> now, we tore a whole bunch of monsters from the Divine Design Alliance Guild yesterday. And everybody's saying, oh, this is frightening, this is frightening. And I went and I was like, oh, this well, wasn't so bad. Maybe, maybe I have a tougher stomach than I think. Oh, it is creepy. <laughs> we have pumpkin using that what quama egg it has kind of the veins on it. it. Gives it this kind of melty, offy, facey feel to it. Okay, okay, let's get a good look at this. It's kind of creepy. It has like a nail coming out of the eye. E <laughs> with the clover, it's like it's a scarecrow. Is it wait? What is it? Watch your step. Look closer at the table. Okay, we're trying. Oh, oh, oh! The whole table is a. It's hard to see with all the spider webs. Oh, they're like ants all over. Is that from Essential Housing Tools? No, it's not. <laughs> what are the spy? What are the ants from? I don't remember ants. Has a record? Right, right, yeah. Okay, so it's getting eaten by ants. That's kind of creepy. This is really creepy. The hat kind of reminds me of like Driving Miss Daisy. I think. That's maybe not what you were going for. So, oh, so termite my mound has ants on it. I forgot about that. Okay. Creepy, creepy ant picnic. It's a picnic for the ants. A creepy face getting eaten off. Okay, okay. Good job. Good job. Oh, oh, camera's all weird. It's a beautiful hat with the flowers. I've got to say, it's really cute. A, the hat, not everything else. <laughs> Nothing else about this is cute. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> I get too, too, too bugged out. Okay, I'll go to Stabby Dooms. Humble Mud up next. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Make you think about mortality a little bit. Stabby says, I'm ashamed after seeing everyone else's. Oh, Stabby, we're going to have fun looking at yours. Did I see the maggots? Were there grubs embedded on it? <laughs> Maybe it's best if I didn't. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, it's a little angel pumpkin. Is that what it is? It's adorable. I love the little smile. Oh, it even has the harp. Oh my gosh. And uh, the tablets. It's like, looks like you don't get into heaven. No, okay, I think... Oh, do I keep the tablets in here? I mean, technically nothing not attached to the pumpkin shouldn't count for this. So let's let's try, try to get everything in here a little bit. Okay, get a screenshot of this. Angelic pumpkin. Oh, it's so happy looking. Okay, let's get a good sense of the details on that. So just using little little tips of those ivories for the nice glisten in the center of the eye. That's what makes it look a little bit more hopeful and happy. Stabby says, wait, put EHT on. Oh, is it off again? It's on. 
do I not have EHD? Um, one sec. Stabity, I don't have effects for this house. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Stabity, can you group with me? Are you on? It has a halo. Oh, are you online? Group me, group, group, group with me and show effects really quick. Does that work? Okay, okay. I mean, it looks like an angel without the halo. Okay, okay. Thank you, Stabity. Stabity says that she has a essential housing tools visual effect halo on this. That would make it look a little bit more, a little bit more angelic. Could even add some music with essential housing tools and kind of set the harpy scene here. Okay, thank you, Stabity. Oh, it's it's very judgy, pumpkin. So, so what did you use for the? wings here. Oh, these are dead geese, aren't they? <laughs> oh no. I guess these will be back on the luxury vendor before too long. <laughs> Stabity says they are the dead geese. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful repurposing of furnishings to make make something angelic out of a dead goose or two. Lovely, lovely. Very hard to position those. I believe it. I believe it. I love it, Stabity. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll keep moving along. Alnivores. Hall of Champion. Looking at more pumpkins. About halfway through. <laughs> we'll start these carcasses from the luxury vendor. I know, I know. Dr. Captain says, how are you doing today? Good, doing great. Touring pumpkins in ESO. They are fantastic. Oh no, looking for a pumpkin. I think it's in the halls of closets. Okay. Alnivor is here. I believe <laughs> this was from our... Oh no, our bust, bust contest the other week. That was, that was fun. Making something out of nothing but busting trophies. I have VODs of all these up on YouTube, by the way. Lectures up to there. And then we have... Oh, we have we have another vampire. This one's a, more of a, a juvenile vampire. Wait, I think X means stand here. Stand here and maybe crouch. There you go. Maybe that'll be the, the best view of this. <laughs> it's kind of a... A derpy optimist. It's interesting how people came up with the same concept for the vampire pumpkin here. Using the periite wings for, for kind of those baddie, baddie aspects of this. It's, like a, <laughs> it's a fruit bat. Ugh, you're terrible. You're terrible. Okay, so it has, <laughs> has, has fruits. I mean, you know, just a diet of blood is, is maybe not getting all your nutrients. So... Supplementing that with some beets and some bananas, making sure they get their potassium and and their magnesium and and everything. They get plenty of iron, I imagine. Okay. So we have a pumpkin with with the with the apple eyes and let's see, cheese wedge ears. The cheese wedge ears work well for a pumpkin, I, I, or for the vampire. I guess I often think of vampires have, as having pretty pointy ears, so using those cheese wedges works pretty well. And then the using the edge of a bowl for the for the nice smile and the lips. And using the fangs, those are some sort of a horn? I can't quite tell what the fangs are. And then a little blood bowl and the bandages, making it a little bit more bloody. The skull over here just to kind of set the set the kind of straddling between life and death type of a feel to this place. Okay, Stabity says, so vampires and angels, I wonder, does this say something about us? Am I angelic and you're a vampiric? I'm just a moo. That's all I am. I haven't seen any moo pumpkins yet. Duffinia says the cheese is awesome. There's a really good placement on it, too. Nor drinking horn and nor drinking horn for the fangs. Okay. Good details. This one doesn't look super intimidating, but you see the blood there, and it's like, he means business. 
Stabity, you're an angelic potato. That's what you are. <laughs> okay, we'll keep moving along. Thank you, Alnivore. I hope I didn't miss anything. It's a fruit bat. <laughs> okay, moving along. Oh, they, okay, they're bowing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here, too. Okay, we'll go to Italy's up next. Looking at more pumpkins. It's beet... Oh, it's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, okay. Wait, no, no, no. Okay. Alnivore, okay. This makes more sense. It's not... It's just beet juice. It's beet... Yeah, they have... If you've ever had beets, which you probably have in your life, maybe, hopefully, they have a really, like, a lot of red dye in them. So, it's just beet juice. It's just a fruit bat. It's just a veggie vampire. Maybe vegan. Is it a vegan vampire? Very well might be. Beet. A little beetle juice. Everybody's awful. Everybody's... Let's go look at Italy's build. <laughs> Okay, continuing along. There are beet-sucking vampires. I'm dropping them beets. It's a beet bat. <laughs> Never all it says we're awful and you love us. I do, I do. Thank you so much. Okay. Italy's Captain Margot's pumpkin up next. Don't know what to expect here. We'll find out here in a moment. I see some garlic hanging up here. Maybe that will ward off the beet pumpkin. Okay, one sec. Okay. Captain Marcos. It's going to be over to my left. Is it going to be scary? Is it going to be amazing? Is it going to be comical? It's going to be... D. <laughs> it's going to be... Poor Bambi. Bambi got betrayed. Made the wrong forest friends. Ah, uh, it's... <laughs> those beat eyes. Those, oh. Smoldering face. It can kind of feel like it's, it's in agony here. I don't know how that's captured so well. Okay, so getting burned to death by a little... Dragon. I see. I see the cow over here. I think that's just gratuitous. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Okay, so we have uh, poor pumpkin. Poor pumpkin, getting tortured to death. I. Hmm. <laughs> so using the ivory to kind of make this kind of deer snout. Effigy of a naughty huntsman. Oh, it could be something like that. Italy says I always had a move. Just for me. Oh, thank you so much. Hersing, fighting the dragon. It kind of has a hersing feel. Oh, there's actually another dragon in here, too. A sacrifice. Hersing versus dragon. Who would win? It is disturbing. Maybe it is just an effigy. disturbing most people went dark <laughs> well this is a bit active a little bit active as far as how the pumpkin is interacting with the environment Delphinia says kind of remind you of wicker man okay there might be references i'm not getting with this poor shireen <laughs> this could be shireen oh that would make sense it's um Sh shireen would have the would have the antlers are, are part of their banner, right? It could be, could be. House Baratheon with with the stag with the stag antlers. So maybe maybe this will help us in the battles to come. Making a sacrifice. I'm going to guess this is well, yeah, we'll go with it being Shireen. The wheat behind might actually kind of look like a throne here, too. Hmm. Hmm. 
And with the dragons, too. That very well might make some sense. I don't know if that's what you're going for, Italy. Italy is laughing, so I'm going to guess not. <laughs> Thank you, Italy. <laughs> Side-eyeing that dragon. Oh, I see. She's kind of blaming that dragon. I see, I see. Maybe a little smitten look. Okay. Thank you, Italy. Stevie says, I just pictured all of Italy laughing. Rightfully so. Okay, Dubat's up next. Ebony Flask. Now, Dubat warned me. This is dreadful. Dreadful. Said that about their building style and not so much about the build itself. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> it is. That is a very, very large knife for that little tiny pumpkin. It's so expressive. Let's see, what's the best angle for this? Probably just here is fine. Here is fine. It's a warning. It's a bit of a warning. How much damage a big, big knife can do to this little pumpkin. Pumpkin still looks kind of optimistic. Has a little slight smile based off of the way that that cog is embedded. It's a nice grin there with the teeth there too, right? Little spokes of the gear kind of look like teeth all lined up. Nice jagged smile. That's cute. Delphinia says... <laughs> oh, wait, is that Dubat? Is that Dubat? It is Dubat! Dubat, great to see ya. Ma. One of my favorite Khajiit folk. Good to see ya. Seems like a warning. It's also embedded on a big thing of ivory. Maybe indicating... Purity lost here. It could be that. Nice little ivory body. Stephanie says, it's hard to work with tiny pumpkins. Yeah, the details with these. I, I think that's one thing a, a lot of people probably thought of doing with these is, hey, the pumpkin's small. You have to use smaller items and the pumpkin to actually fit inside of them. So we've seen different takes on these, so. Okay, thank you, Dubat. Thank you, Dubat. Okay, Galileo. Galileo is here in chat, too. I'm curious. Galileo said that they had lots of pumpkins, so I'm curious what this will be like. Dubat says it's basically an attempt at Daedric summoning, but the summoner didn't have access to an actual head. Oh, wow, it's a summoning with a pumpkin. Maybe that will work. Maybe they'll get part of a scamp with their summon. It's like a little pinky of a scamp comes through the portal. Okay, we have we have pumpkin merchant. We have it. It's a minion. Oh no! <laughs> uh, it has bananas. I'm I'm reflexively opposed to minions. I I don't know why. I think it's just been ingrained. Uh, and oh, okay, it's like a little trick or treater. And this is this is its mom. <sighs> It's like uh, it's like a little minion pumpkin. I'm going. Is it is it an actual minion going trick or treating, or is it is it a little kid dressed up as a minion going trick or treating? Those are the things that are difficult to tell with this. Okay, so we'll get we'll get the very hopeful looking minion trick or treater. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so using these alchemy flasks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a minion. It's, a, it's not just a cyclops, is it? Kaleo, look at your pumpkin. You have more pumpkins. I'll get to those. I was kind of taking in the, the pumpkin here. Okay, so we have kind of a creepy smile using the bowl, the elsewhere bowl that's full of food. That's the ramen bowl, I think. Because um, <laughs> it catches a lot of light. And it makes it kind of look like it has big, full, drooly lips. Kind of like it's salivating for whatever it's looking at. Not like a little kid might do for candy. So it's a little, a little obsessed. 
a little obsessive. Just based off of the noodle bowl. Okay, adorable minion. Okay. <laughs> oh, these are, yeah, these would be overalls with the flasks. Okay. Okay. And now, oh, is that Kalaleo? It is Kalaleo. Now, there are going to be more pumpkins. Pumpkin with a skull on it. Creepy pumpkins. Pumpkin decorations. Oh, you're throwing candy at me. Wait, I want candy. Give me a. Can I, can I have candy? Candy. Bag. <laughs> Oh, no, no, what was the... I'm trying to... Re there was actually an ask for food trick-or-treat. What was it called? There's an emote. There's actually an emote to... Oh, I, I serve up some... Butt slaps. That's what I deserve. That's what I deserve. Festive beggar. Festive beggar. Oh, wait, that's not it. Fest festive... Festival beggar. See, I can ask for candy. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you for the candy. Okay, trick or treating. <laughs> and then we have decorative pumpkins up here too. So this one seems to be losing its guts. Kind of reminds me like how you can do the pumpkins where you take out all the seeds and the stringiness outside and you kind of like stir it out like it's throwing up its innards. That's what this reminds me of. Beautiful, beautiful. And we have Goofy Pumpkin here. Cyclops Pumpkin. Angry Pumpkin. Creeper Pumpkins. <laughs> okay, they're really fun, they're really fun. Could be bearded. I think it's... Accelerating. Okay. Fun, fun pumpkins. We'll get some screenshots of these too. Oh, I think we'll just count the other one for the contest. <laughs> okay, fun, fun, fun. Thank you, Kalileo. Thank you, Kalileo. Too much candy for that one. Yes, yes, a little too much candy. <laughs> Puke and pumpkins, exactly. Thank you, Kalileo. Thank you for being here and giving me candy. I don't deserve it. Okay, I'll go to Horn Hebs up next. Fun build. Thank you, Kalileo. Thank you for having fun with it. <sighs> Kalileo giving me the treat I deserve. Okay, we have... Horn Heb. Hollow Lunar Champion main room. Horn Heb often does animations for us. I don't know if he's going to be here doing animations for us. Oh, we have it. Wait, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> Not disappointing. Apparently, we have... What's going on here? Somebody's roll... Ooh, somebody got stabbed in the back. Oh, a smuggler. Oh, a terrible scene. I don't want to be here. Uh... Wait. Wait, I can't quite read this, because I think that this is supposed to slide back. Um... Oh, this was part of the... I remember this. This was part of our Falling for Fall contest a couple weeks back where I had to go and try to solve a little bit of a mystery and I fell into a trap. Okay, so we do have Pumpkin here. I have a Pumpkin murderer. They say, how the tables have turned. <laughs> I'll stab too. So we have a stabby Pumpkin. Okay, so I see how this is. It's not... It's not like a... It's a pumpkin carving. What is the pumpkin carving? The pumpkin is carving... All of these would-be pumpkin decorators. So, stabbing everybody. Carving them up. So I can see. I can see how the tables have turned here. I'm going to I'm going to do one thing. Can I do this? Can I do this? No, 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 no. Uh, will that close that up? Just for the screenshot. I don't I want that out of the way for a little bit. <laughs> one sec, one sec. Creepy, jabby pumpkin. 
Okay, put that back on. Well, Fox says I wanted to use a hat, but it wouldn't cover the thing I use for the nose. Yeah, that's a good use of that. Hat. This is the scarecrow, right? So good use of the facial details on this. Really? How how did they make this mouth? It's a very expressive mouth. And then adding the horns out the backside too. Okay, using the horns for the eyes. Can't quite place what the mouth is. It's nearly like a beak. It's a goat head. Okay, goat head. Okay, cool. Witch's totem skull. Okay, okay, so good use of the witch's festival furnishings. Okay, clever, clever. <laughs> the friend's all getting stabbed by the pumpkins here. Okay, thank you, Hornhub. Thank you, Hornhub. Wait, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Thank you. Pumpkin carving gone wrong. Oh, Hornhub is here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm accepting a group invite. They might have... They might have some... Animations or something for me. Let me see. Let me see. I'll give it a sec. Boo. <laughs> Mood, everybody. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so... There might be some visual effects with this that I might be missing. I don't have... I have two-week-old visual effects. It might be outdated. That might be why the text is here. Oh no, oh no. I'll say that effects don't seem to be coming through. <laughs> Could be, could be an out-of-date add-on. I mean, I think it's fine even without any effects or, or animations. There's a really creepy, creepy pumpkin here. Kaleo says, I just had to try to explain that. I was watching a Twitch stream to a non-gamer friend. Took three times. <laughs> it is fun, it is fun. Okay, we'll both try doing a reload UI and see if that will make the visual effects come through. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. We'll try that. I'm not really sure what they are intending to show me, so I'll, I'll give it a second. We'll do a quick reload UI and see, see if it doesn't come through. I don't remember what order it has to go in. I think... I think the homeowner has to do it, and then I need to do it. We'll see if it comes through. <laughs> Sample text. Uh... Ah, oh, the effects are still two weeks old. It hasn't updated. Uh, I've got to keep moving along here. I still have a lot of houses to get to. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, thank you, though. Thank you. It was really fun. It was really fun. I like that they were all stabbed when I came in, too. <laughs> Putting the knives there. Probably the placement. So they, they must have practiced this a little bit with the knife placements here. Okay, okay. We'll keep moving along. I... Okay, Polarian Night shades up next. Live actors, they, yeah, they were live actors. So, Hornhub and Friend filling in as victims of the carving pumpkin. Hope's having friends for that. Oh, I recognize this picture. I don't know if you can see this picture. Uh, we went to Lavothi's at home the other day during our housing hike, and they recreated that painting in their house. It was really cool. 
Oh, Polaria Nightshades. Love Polaria Nightshades. Take on things. Now, this is not going to be a pumpkin, but it's like a little little scene here. Okay, if I were a pumpkin, <laughs> a lovely dress, a lovely... Is that supposed to be Cinderella? <laughs> it's Cinderella. I don't think that's a pumpkin, though. It's really funny. Okay, let's find a pumpkin. Is this a pumpkin? This looks like a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin with a nose. And a bow. Is it like a mini? Is it like Minnie Mouse? For reasons, this is not Minnie Mouse. It is, it's just a pumpkin with some, with a bow and big ears. Could be dead mouse. Could be, could be any other mouse. Could be, could be anything. <laughs> okay. I like it. Very expressive. Happy look to it. Making that big bow out of those shells. Could be Lady Gaga. <laughs> That's right. As far as we know, as far as we know, this is, no, these are those elsewhere vegetable bowls being used here for the... Uh, is it root, root vegetable meal? Something like that. <laughs> for the... For the big ears, big ears. Using the ivory, catches the light, has a little bit of a glisten to the eye, makes it look a little bit more optimistic and happy. Going with, I think, some potatoes for the nostrils, kind of two sides of the nose. Okay, so good. We have a... Fun build, fun build. I love the bow. Big, perfectly circle ears. Ray says it's clever. It is, it is. Okay. Oh, I think... <laughs> That's too funny. It's like, makes me want to go explore everything here. Best take on Cinderella. Over the top. Over the top is always fun. Okay. Thank you, Polaria Nightshade. Okay, we'll keep moving along here. Going to a gender fox's house next. A gender fox's pumpkin is in the Saratoga Jungle House. Getting some decoration inspiration as we tour more pumpkins. So many pumpkins. So many unique takes on this. We left this pretty open-ended as far as, you know, what you could do with it. So we've seen lots and lots and lots of different ways of doing this. Okay, a gender fox. I spy pumpkins. I spy... It's adorable. It's... It's... It's a cow. <laughs> it might be me. It has a beard, though. I don't really have a beard. That could just be the golden neck, though. I'm going to go with this being a cousin. It's... I love it. I love it. And then it even has the gold body. Aww. Aww. I love that with the horns and the, and the big ears off to the side with the big potatoes. The big snout. I'm very flattered. Is it a ham? It is a hammy snout, which is very appropriate. I have a thing for hams. You kind of see some of the details of this. So using oh i see it was using the, the sugar pipe just to kind of add to the the golden look to it because golden face reasons <laughs> see you can kind of wait 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 let's go side by side here oh well a little bit Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's big. I'm surprised how big it is. Kaleo says, Jay Hart, let's have a creepy monkey puppet contest. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, nostrils. 
Oh, I see. The nostrils were the spools. They they might have fallen a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's a cute little cute little twin. Using the pumpkin. What did you use for the giant pumpkin on the top? It's kind of like a couple of pumpkins layered together. It gives it a bit more of a uh, forward forehead. I love it. I love it. Agenda Fox, thank you so much. Moo. Moo to you. Wait, wait, wait. One, one last thing. Definitely have to do this. Oh no, I'm trying to angle it. Good enough. Respect, respect. <laughs> okay, fun. Fun moo build from Agenda Fox. Thank you so much. Okay, Raven's up next. It needs wings, yeah, it might need, it might need some wings. No, it's perfectly fine. A gender fox says the eyes are liquor bottles. Oh, I, I see. Those glimmer a little bit too, right? Okay, Raven Serrana's Grand, C Grand Cidric Villa. I hope it's obvious where it is. <laughs> it's a very large, large estate. Maybe it will be obvious. Is that a pumpkin? Ooh. I believe it is. It looks kind of like the pocket watcher. I think it is. Oh, this is really cool. Oh. The only problem with it is I can't get a good shot of it without it kind of blending into the background. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. So, this is really cool. It's like a watcher. It has this eyes on it. Kind of like a daydream. So, okay, so let me, actually, let me see if I can't pull this out. Um, can you use pets? So what it looks like is it looks like the pocket watcher, which you can't use in houses. But yes, it looks like, oh, I can, wait, wait, I can preview. One sec, one sec. It's available, Al. Runs out today. Now, this is what it looks like, right? You can see it in the background. A little watcher with the eyes and the tentacles. Yeah, it's a pumpkin watcher. So you can kind of see it has those kind of slit eyes. Okay, so that's what this is. So maybe drawing some inspiration from what was on the crown store. <laughs> Daedric watcher. who it's ever watching. Has eyes in the back of its head and all the tendrils. Really well done. Big eye in the front, too. <laughs> yeah, really good recreation of that. And then using these grapes here, kind of adding to the kind of curvy tentacles. So really good use of these glow stalks and then adding those grapes. Really good choice. They're like the perfect fit. Even kind of imagine kind of like this, this kind of suckery textures on the on the tentacles it's amazing raven sarna oh you're here they say thank you thank you so much so good te details using the eyes with the apples it looks like maybe these are the ends of some spools i want to say spools maybe hard hard to no the spools would be smaller this is like where, what did you use for the small details we can see like the drinking horns and we can see, yeah, it kind of starts to become difficult to place. A big ponder ball, <laughs> ponder sphere being used for this, yarn ball. Oh, Raven Saran says, spools, apples, and redoran incense burners. Oh, redoran incense burners, okay. Okay, awesome. Getting, getting really detailed with that. Now, the amazing thing about this is, this is using an entire pumpkin and kind of using all of the sides of it. So, like, you can go all around here. It's a very three-dimensional type of a build, so I, I like that. <laughs> it's a floating pumpkin. Rather an incense holder being used for that. Okay. 
Really well done. Okay, thank you, Raven. Thank you, Raven. Put the research monkeys up next. More pumpkins. It was a very ESO specific type of a build. I like those too. Raven says, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you so much. Okay, research monkeys up next. Thank you, thank you, thank oh you. Oh my gosh, Gand. W A O W W A O W W A O W. It's me. <laughs> wow, 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 it's me. Gand says, Thank you so much, Gand. 16 months. You are incredible. Big, big hype, big hype. Okay, research monkey. Thank you so much. Hope you're enjoying the pumpkin decorating contest. Thank you for your continued support. Okay, research monkey. <laughs> Gand. Was this the pumpkin? It's like a pumpkin snowman. I'm guessing this is it. Near the entrance. It must be. Okay, this is it. Okay, Lord of the Pumpkin Patch. We have a lot of makeup. It feels like this is very heavy on the makeup. <laughs> we have stacking pumpkins. We have well, potato feet. Lord of the Pumpkin Patch. Very, very full lips. Very long nose. Those are using carrots? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Using Merkmeyer berry strands. For the eyes. Very glisteny red eyes. Imagine a lot of makeup here. <laughs> Big banana mouth. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. <laughs> Do bad. That's a stretch. <laughs> the Empumpkiner of Hallowood. Yes, yes. It's a cute one. It's a cute one. Cute happy pumpkin. Seems to be above all the other pumpkins, and you can see why. It carries itself with poise. None of the others are suitable. Suitable matches here for the pumpkin queen. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, Stormhawk has a quick important thing. What's going on? <laughs> Support would help. Support would help a lot. Okay. Okay, thank you, Research Monkey. Thank you, Research Monkey. Okay, we'll go to Ray's up next. We have... Ray said that they had a slightly different take on this pumpkin decorating contest. They did more of a harvest display. So, curious what that will be like. Maybe it will kind of fit the contest theme, or maybe, maybe it'll just be a unique look on this. We'll see. Oh, wait, is that is that Ray? It is Ray. We have a... We have Ray with a... With a chicken. With a harvest display. Kind of looks like a pumpkin cake. We don't have a pumpkin pie. We have a pumpkin cake here. It looks really... Very delectable. Looks kind of tasty. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat it. Maybe... I don't know. It looks pretty good, though. So it kind of feels more like a... Oh, no. Can I get the... Oh, I get the egg in the shot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I think I got the screenshot with the egg. Anniversary cake. Pumpkin anniversary. Oh, Ray says, to start, I couldn't decide pumpkin squash apple to use. I started sticking things in and couldn't make a face to save my life, so I ended up with something Martha Stewart. That's oh, like a centerpiece, like a pumpkin centerpiece. That works. It's a very decorative approach to things. You can imagine this being placed in, on your table, blocking the view of your relatives as you sit around, or friends, 
Important thing is that you can't see whoever's across from you. Good table centerpiece. With it, with the chicken. Love that too. The chicken has to be on the table as well. We're kind of getting into the harvest season. Maybe even transitioning a bit more into towards like more towards like the Christmas Christmassy feel to this with the flowers and the candles. It's getting there. The holidays. I like it. I like it. Even has a cherry on top. Well, an apple. It's close enough. Fun take, fun take. And the butterfly is kind of liven it up a bit. Delphinia says it's really lovely. I like it too. Okay, the harvest. Celebrating. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Just a few houses left. A few houses left. Been getting screenshots as I go through. We'll try to announce winners tomorrow. It might be Tuesday. And we'll have three winners for Goofy. We'll have three winners for more serious builds. And they'll each get 200,000 gold on PCNA or PCEU. All of our entries here today will get a small token of appreciation. And then we'll also draw for some winners for Twitch chat in, a, in when it's all over today. We'll do that very soon. We have a wizard. Looks like a wizard. Is it a wizard? Might just be a chemistry teacher. It is. <laughs> I believe it's a wizard. It's a great use of those fabric, uh, d the display fabric to make a robe. <laughs> Epic beard. Oh, yeah. Let me. Is that the hag raven head? <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, so yeah, trying to piece together what this is actually using. I believe it's a hag raven head. So we get like the <laughs> beard coming down and the mustache. That's too funny. Yeah, that's like, what? How do you get this white hair going on? Big purple soul gem up above. Black soul gem. The rim of the hat using a... Merkmeyer charger, I think. And then a little quill feather there. Works really well. With a wand using that clockwork key. A skeleton key. Okay. Really well done. I love the facial features here. With the little cogs. <laughs> and the hag raven head. Oh, it even has a cloak. It has a cloak on the back. It's using... Oh, no, I, I can't remember the, the name of this furnishing. A little fabric coming down the back for the for the, the cloak on the back. So the beard seems to be a hag raven head, which has been kind of turned upside down and embedded into the pumpkin. So that's, that's how it's working. Hanging cloak, hanging cloak. Hanging coat thing for the... Okay. There we go. So we have a wizard. We have a wizard. Seems to be a wizard. Very good. Very good. <laughs> it's a fun build. Even has kind of the pokey, pokey ears here. I think those are pokey ears. Okay. Really fun. Thank you, Zana says. Skittle, Skittle Butt is here with a move. Thank you, thank you. Is it Gandalf? It has a kind of Gandalfian look to it. It very well might be something like that. Okay, we'll go to Atin's up next. They said to come to their primary house. I don't even know what house it is. Needs a nose. No, the nose is just kind of embedded within all the hair. No, it's fine. <laughs> You can sometimes forego details on a face. Okay, Hall of the Winter Champion. Oh, Home Owner is here. Atina is here. I see a pumpkin. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Waving. Waving. I 
keep staying crouched. I don't really mean to, but at least I get good screenshots on these. We have a... A southern pumpkin. It has a bow tie. It, it has more of a southern feel to it that way. Is it... Is it like a... Like a rancher? Is it supposed to be a rancher? With a cowboy hat? And a mustache? <laughs> and the bow tie? Omnivore says I'm dying over that tiny mustache. I love the little tiny mustache, just using the edges of things to make to make a little mustache under the nose. I love I love the details. See this one doesn't actually have a mouth, so that's a good way of doing that. You don't always have to add those details. Has the big bushy carrot eyebrows. Love love that. Edges of bread for the mustache. Kind of the ears drooping down here. Cowboy hat. Kind of looks like a cowboy hat. Nearly looks like a colonel. Could be. Colonel Sanders. Sanders? That's a KFC guy. Kind of has that kind of a look to it. Okay, <laughs> could be. Could be. Might make some nice fried chicken. The fork and knife on the bow tie may indicate they're in the food preparation business. Or could it be like Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, it has kind of like that rancher hat type of a look to it. I don't think it's Colonel Sanders. It's a little... It's not... It's not specific enough for that. Really great details. Let's see. Let me see. Fancy bowl. <laughs> oh, they say it is a bowl. Oh, wait, it's a bowl. Bowl itself. Could be a rancher that also is a bull. It doesn't have those horns coming up. It's a dapper bull. I think it is a bull. So it has the hat there. But it itself is the bull. That would make sense with the ears coming out the side like this. Kind of the droopy ears. I think that's what it is. Button uh, says, Atin, I was just putting things together for a fancy bowl, but then just had fun with it. <laughs> I need the chicken legs if it were to be KFC. Right, right. Okay, so we have a very dapper bowl here with a bow tie. Bowl tie? Bow tie. We have a bow tie. Well, the cheese. Cheese and apple for a bow tie. Very creative details. Okay. Loving the details on this. <laughs> fun build, fun build. Ooh, I'm digging the mustache. Thank you, Atin. Thank you so much for letting me come and tour your home. See your beautiful pumpkin. Okay, moving along, moving along. Just a few houses left. Trying to interpret these as we go along as well. Okay, Sir Dog Jungle House from Snow Fairy Wings. Snow Fairy Wings has a little bit of a scene for us. We'll see what that's about. Greek Gemini says, are you last or second to last? I am actually touring these in the order that they were entered, more or less. So if you entered later, then I'm touring them later. I tend to do it that way. Not that I want people to purposely submit their entries late. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Oh, gosh. Can you recognize them? Can you recognize these? Do you recognize these pumpkin faces? I, I want Twitch chat to guess. Twitch chat, you're going to get it. I know you're going to get it. They're ESO characters. That other thing got it. Uh, okay, right away. It's, it's Queen Iren and Razumdar. <laughs> I love them. I love them. That the red mohawk is a little bit obvious, right? It's, it's Raz, it is Raz, with the whiskers. <laughs> little sp spider, spider leg mafala whiskers. It's really creative. Okay, let me, let me get a good screenshot of this. 
<laughs> That's too funny. I love it. So, yeah, Snow Fairy says... Okay, no, Snow Fairy Wing said that this was like a... Romeo and Juliet type of uh, feel to it. I'm trying to figure out the Romeo and Juliet type of a feel to it. Okay, everybody loves these. Okay, so we have Raz. Um, the Khajiit. With the, with the ears. What are the ears? Kind of a curvy ears are... Huh, I can't really figure out what furnishings those are. What curves like that? I don't know. We have the the big. It's a rare rare plant. With that red, red plant. I don't remember the name of it either. Could be potatoes. I might. I don't think it's potatoes. I don't curve in that way. Let's see. We have big crystal eyes. The whiskers. The whiskers here. Using the little Mephala statuette for the whiskers. They're a little... They're a bit coarse for whiskers, but they work. Could be bread morsels? Bread morsels for the... I don't think so. Wolf head. It, it, I think it might be something like just a wolf head. That would make sense for the ears. That would make sense, embedding that. Then we have Queen Irene. With the crown. I believe that's using a... Monster trophy from Moongrave Fane. <laughs> I think it might be the head, the knight head. With the hair coming down. Really trying, I'm having a hard time placing this. What, what, um, Snow Fairy Wings has done here is use just kind of small portions of some of the furnishings. So placing it kind of up against a wall lets all of the furnishing kind of be embedded behind without being able to see those. So it works pretty well. Right, piercing white eyes. Lovely. <laughs> eyes stick out super far. I know, the, from a distance, they, they they work a little bit better. If you're from the site, <laughs> I don't know about... I don't know about the pokey eyes. They, they work a lot better from a straight-on view. It's amazing. Her ears are dark elf hooks. Dark elf hooks. That they, I believe they are. I believe they are. Colors from chaos. Very good. Okay, great details. The hair is some sort of like a spider cocoon. I think it's a cocoon. I'm trying to figure out what else would kind of have a stringy texture. They <laughs> have a piercing gaze, yes. Queen Iren. This is how Queen Iren stares at you. Okay, really well done, really well done. I, I like the recognizable characters, kind of picking up on a lot of the traits there. Okay, really fun. Thank you, Snow Fairy Wings! Okay, just... A few, ho a few homes left. <laughs> She's cartoon excited. But kind of like a caricature, kind of a pumpkin build. That's kind of what you would expect if you're decorating a pumpkin. Kind of have to make the details really obvious. Especially given what few furnishings could have worked for making Raz's mohawk. Oh, we have Crisea. Crisea has pumpkin. Oh, I have a guest journal saying a guest journal. Okay, we have... Chrisaya said that she used two visual effects, a skybox and a global brightness effect. Okay. She might have a trigger for this. Does that look like Jack Skellington? To light the jack-o'-lantern, sing everyone hail to the pumpkin song. Or... <laughs> That's a really long... Hail. Oh no, everyone. Okay, we'll try this. We'll try this. So I have to type, everyone hail to the pumpkin king? King, right? Uh, well, I'll, I'll try that. Everyone hail to the... It might be a trigger. A text tr trigger. 
Oh, oh, it's happening. Oh no, I didn't get a good shot of it. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. I messed it up bad. Oh no. Let me try it again. I love the... This is so detailed. It is song? It is supposed to be song? Okay, let's try that again. Every, uh, uh, maybe I can turn it off. I don't know if that will turn it off. Okay, let's look at the details on this. So we have the night sky. We have Jack. We have Jack's face, the skelly face. The details on this are incredible. We even have kind of that the dark spirally tendril there. You can, I even see that scene. You see Jack walking up the, the tendril that kind of extends out as he walks up it. So it's kind of, And then the moon, the moon in the background. Where he says the colors are so intense. That's using that, uh, the visual effect, universal, the brightness. Makes this whole place look darker and then just using the light here. Oh, there we go, there we go. Turning down the lights, looking at the details. I kind of like this too because the the um, the moon stands out really well. Amazing detail work with this. Even even making the asymmetrical nostrils in the face and the big curvy grin. I don't even want to start to think about how how she placed these so perfectly. <laughs> and then it's like, what did what did she use to make these? It must have been. Oh, there we go. It's coming back up. It's very vibrant. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. Next level? I know. Grisea. <laughs> Grisea is amazing. Just the little ends of bits and pieces of things. Little pokey things. Chris says, that's the Thanksgiving holiday. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I wrote pumpkin. <laughs> oh, I did. I messed it up. I, I see. Everyone hail to the pumpkin song. Oh, that will do it. That will do it. It's amazing. One more time. One more time. So this is using animations. With triggers. With triggers. With text triggers. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Chrisaya. Thank you. Amazing detail work. Okay, I'll go to Stormhawks up next. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's like more going on here too. Wait, 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 wait. There was like, oh, I see, I see what this is. It's like the different, it's the different holiday trees. Oh, okay, okay. So there are more details here. So we have like a heart for Valentine's and we have like a Christmas tree for Christmas Town. All those. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> There's more going on with this build even beyond that. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, just a few homes left. More pumpkins. And a very jack-o'-lantern type of a feel to it with it with the backlighting and everything so great job Chrisaya you managed to pull off a make it yourself jack-o'-lantern with those incredibly small details Wraith home this will be the first time I've actually poked into a Wraith home okay we have Stormahots pumpkin I spy a pumpkin 
Do I have a... <laughs> we have... <laughs> We have a crab with a knife. We have, <laughs> is that what it is? It looks like a crab with a knife. This feels like a meme. It feels, <laughs> I want to get shot with a knife in here. Let's see. Using those feathers, the quills there, for the, the big angry eyebrows. Yes, the eyebrows are glorious, <laughs> Twitch says. The big beak there as well. Jumphawk says, it took me a couple hours to figure out the concept and get it just right. I like the details. I like the, the buggy, very, very cold, round, dark eyes here. Try to figure out what you used for those. Oh, wait, wait, there's like more going on. It's kind of like a beak monster. Kind of, ooh, with like the ice, icy crystals kind of going down the back. Kind of feels like a, it has a beak and the feather eyebrows. It has kind of some birdie feels to it. Kind of like a bitey, birdie, beaky, dragony feel. Stormhawk says, check out my crow swarm on the... Oh, yes! It's totally on... I, I, I'll check that out. <laughs> okay, we have a creepy... creepy pumpkin beast that will mess you up. Button eyes. Could be... Yeah, the button eye looks so like a... Crystal butt. Oh, yeah! I forgot. I actually wrote that down. It is called Crystal Butt. Crystal Butt. Gothic Raven! Terminator 100, Terminator 100, Terminator 100, bonus 30, Jardy Budgie. <laughs> Thank you, with the jar, with the Jaharda Budgie. The Budgie, the Budgie build. I think Storm might have had some inspiration from Budgies for the beak. No, but from this angle, it looks so, so much less intimidating until you see the fierceness of that beak. Okay. Pumpkin beast. Okay, Stormhawk wanted me to show something. Wait, is it through here? No, no, no. Okay, Storm, Storm wanted me to show something. Is it through here? <laughs> yes. Little, little aside. We have synchronized bats. We have synchronized bats. They're, they're glorious. Stormhawk has a lot of scarecrows. Or they're not, they're not bats, they're crows. Synchronized crows, synchronized crows. It's funny how that works. Any of those that you, anything that, that has animations will like load from the first frame of the animation based off of when you port into it. So if you place them side by side, it will get a weird effect like this. Trying to think of how you could make use of that for future contests. Okay. <laughs> two homes left, two homes left. We're going to go to Greek Gemini's Moon Sugar up next. Ah, oh, this is where they have that big painting giant. Okay, Pumpkin will be by that. <laughs> okay, we have. A big painting, painting soldier. Oh, Greek Gemini, you moved your dragon. <laughs> I like the dragon from from the other week too. That was from our housing or bust, bust and trophy monster contest. I see that you must have grouped that all together and moved it over here. Oh, you're here. We have a. Is that Greek Gem Knight? It is Greek Gem Knight. We have a angel. It has the big angel wings here. And it has the piles of gold down below. It feels maybe more like a dragon. Ah! <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Do I have... Maybe I should get some of the gold in here. Let's do it. Let's do it that way. It maybe feels a little bit like a dragon, kind of, 
protecting its pile of gold down below. It could be that, but it has more of an angelic feel to it. This must be using the... Oh. Azura statue? What has angel wings? I don't remember. I don't really remember. And then we have the pumpkin. The pumpkin looks kind of menacing. Has kind of these horns on it. Meridia? A Meridia statue. Meridia statue. I think that would be it. Scald? No, it's a Scald... St oh, totally different. Scald statue has the eagle wings. That's a little bit different. A little bit different. Thank you, thank you. We have like a flying pumpkin. Kind of lording over... Lording over its treasure pile. Oh my goodness, Genesea. That is amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, so we have menacing flying pumpkin body with the horns, with the flames up above. Looks very intimidating. Looks like I probably shouldn't try to steal the treasure here. It's a fun one. It's a fun one. Titania. It's Titania. Ooh, Titania. Titania is what? Titania is a fallen angel of some sort. Something like that. From, from Summer Night? Uh, mid, Midsummer Night? Could be a fairy queen. <laughs> Trying to interpret this. Creek Gem Nice says it's Titania. Okay, okay, so maybe, maybe you think about that. Thank you, Greek Gemini. Thank you, thank you. Fun build, fun build. Love the little, is that a cheese wedge? Cheese wedge nose? It is a cheese wedge nose. The banana smile. The big, full, red apple eyes. Okay. And a little bit of a mystical enchanted crown with the coat of flower okay last home last home we had 27 pumpkins for our pumpkin decorating contest this will be the last one the lens says ebony flask in room they say they have a possessed pumpkin will be possessed here at the end and we'll wrap up and we'll do some twitch chat giveaways all good stuff all good stuff Thank you so much, everybody. Last one. Ooh, creepy one to end on. I suppose that's appropriate. Going into Witches Festival and Halloween coming up soon. Oh, that's like super creepy. <laughs> ah, has like a really menacing face there. Gosh. It's amazing. Thank you, thank you, oh, Delvinia, thank you so much. With the resub. Creepy possessed pumpkin with a dwarven spider embedded into it. Oh. Kind of that gargoyle thank you, thank you, skull. Moo moo. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Arison with a moo moo to you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so possessed pumpkin. And they say it is feeding oh it does look like it's feed oh yeah the carcass is down below it looks like it's already cleaned these up pretty well working on these carcass chunks next it is a yikesy kind of a build oh using the upside down spider kind of really adds a lot to that and then kind of kind of marrying the gargoyle head with the human skull putting those together makes a unique look and then kind of brightening it up with the candles for the eyes a really creepy build so adding some flesh to the skull using the gargoyle head okay really well done really well done from nalinsa thank you so much the feeding pumpkin it is possessed it must feed speaking of thank you everybody for the bit support <laughs> it hungers it hungers okay we will wrap up here I'll be part of the part of the 
No, no, I can't really. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine before. That's fine before. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well, we'll wrap up here. Thank you, everybody, for our pumpkin decorating contest. This was really fun. So we had homes across PCEU and PCNA. Amazing, amazing takes on this. Varied. So many different styles. Really making good use of the pumpkin as a canvas to add those small details, kind of breathing some life into these pumpkins and having some fun with it. So I hope this has allowed you to maybe take away some things that maybe you could do with your decorating style or maybe just enjoyed this. This was really fun. So we'll have our NPC costume contest next week. That'll be fun. That'll be at twitch.tv slash jhartellis. If you're not following me there, that would be fantastic. And I will upload the VOD to this to YouTube. And so if you can subscribe to me there, that would be fantastic. You can get notifications of all the, the contests and tours that we do. We have like a regular housing hike on Friday evenings. We do contests like this on Sundays. And I, I sneak in some other streams as well. Like I toured some monsters from Defined Design Alliance Guild recently too. So doing things like that. So having lots of fun. You can do so much with housing in ESO. So have fun with it. Make your Make it your own. Get creative with it. And maybe enter some of our contests coming forward. So have fun with housing, have fun with ESO, and stay spicy.